three tips for writing better fundraising emails. All right. So the first tip is to write like you're talking to your favorite donor. It's okay to have a favorite donor. Uh, and sometimes I'll work with a nonprofit and they're so used to writing fundraising emails that are stilted and they kind of sound like they're coming from an organization rather than a person. People tend to interact with email messages that feel personal, that feel like they've been written to them personally. And the best way to start this is to think about your favorite donor. Talk to them about the story, one specific story that they want to hear about, right? So write like you're talking to your favorite donor. That will be the kind of the source of inspiration rather than feeling like, oh, well, I have to, you know, write sentences in this format and worry about my commas and all that stuff. Write like you talk. David Ogilvie, he said, uh, write like you talk. That's his best advice for copywriting is write like you talk. You know, write like you're talking to your favorite donor. The second tip is to personalize the email message. Now, Salsa did some research on this and they found that uh, messages, email messages that have personalized information or what they call individualized emails, they're going to be open. Uh, the open rate increases by about 244%. So what does that mean? That means that, uh, you know, that's one step in the process of raising money with email is getting people to open the email, right? Uh, and also clicking through the email. So if we're using our first name in the subject line, if we're using the first name in the body of the email, uh, we're going to be more likely to have that person engage with the message than if we say, uh, you know, dear sir or something where it's completely not personalized. And here's a great example from Donors Choose. So they realize that I'm located in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. I've supported the organization before. And they say, hi, John, it's back to school season in Brighton, Massachusetts. Here's a local classroom that needs your help. All right. So they're personalizing in two ways. One is they're using my name. Two is they're using my location and they're presenting opportunities to me that I'm probably going to care about more than, say, supporting a high school out in Kansas. So tip two, personalize your email messages. And then three, connect the donor to the impact. All right. Connect the donor to the impact. Your message, your email messages shouldn't be about your nonprofit. Right. They shouldn't be about you, how long you've been around and how great you are and how efficient you are as an organization. It really should be about the person reading the email, uh, you know, the reader. So it's John in this case. And you're going to use words like you. OK, so again, it's very personal. You're writing as if you're writing to uh, your favorite donor or a good friend. Uh, and so you're connecting the donor to the impact you wrote, you shared, you gave, you rallied all your kids. You won. And then it says here in the last paragraph, as a supporter of Moms Rising, you've made a profound dis difference for moms and families this year, from paid sick day victories to helping many thousands of families get affordable health coverage for the very first time. OK, so what the message is basically saying from a from the potential donor standpoint is that they are having a direct impact on the cause on the on the result. It's not uh, uh, moms rising is in a sense are kind of taking themselves out of the picture. The potential donor isn't giving money to momsrising.org. The potential donor is giving money to um, support. Uh, ideas and, and families and moms and with with paid sick leave and affordable health coverage and so forth. Right. So connecting the donor to the impact. That's tip number three. Now, there's an additional one, a bonus tip, if you like. Ask three times. Don't repeat the message, but ask three times. Right. So in this case, it's saying donate now. There's a big button here. Donate. So that's another call to action. And then at the bottom, uh, where it's actually, this is the middle of the message, but in bold letters saying, make a gift today to keep scientists and life-saving cancer research on the fast track. Okay. Uh, so that is the bonus tip. And I'm going to open it up for Q&A in just a second, but I just want to point out that you can register and sign up to get all the archives of the Hump Day Coffee Break. So it says here there are over 28 lessons. At this point, there are probably about 34. So 34 different lessons. You can log in, sign up, and register. And these are the 
modules, content marketing, online fundraising, Facebook marketing, email marketing, social media, and analytics, all right? So with that, I'm gonna open it up for Q&A, and let me just jump over here.